was Ron Bennington like in person? What about Fez? They they were both uh, very like Ron is. Uh, I talk about this, and I should mention Ron as well. And I I, I forget sometimes in the discussion. Um, what I've tried to do as I get older is try to uh, bring more of my uh, my uh, my true self onto the uh, live stream. Um. And I think uh, the best thing you can do as a radio personality is try to be yourself. And most radio guys do not pull that off. Brother Wheeze, by far, pulls it off. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> the guy you hear on the radio and the guy that's off the radio is the exact same guy. The amount of times I hung out with Wheeze thinking this would be a great radio show, I can't even tell you. Just the exact same guy. There's no exaggeration whatsoever. It, you know how hard that is to pull off? Even right now, I'm, I'm playing a slightly exaggerated version of myself. Um, but the other person I, I, I need to say does that is Ron Bennington. He is damn close to the same person on, on air and off air. It's really, that's really hard to pull off. So when you ask a question, what was Ron Bennington like in person? I think you pretty much know just by listening to his radio show. Fez was definitely quieter off air. Howard Stern is very different off air. Uh, he's he's uh, he's a bit uh, to himself and very very quiet off air. Um, but there you have it. Neil Rogers was incredibly shy until the on air light turned on, and then amazing talent. Yeah, he was one of the he was one of the greats. Neil Rogers down there in Miami. Uh, I heard a, I heard that about that uh, that guy. I'm not saying if. Um, if you turn on a mic and you got an on-air personality that doesn't kick ass, that's great. I'm just saying it, it, it's been my goal for a very, very long time to be more myself on the radio than, than not. And I'm trying to get there. But it came so naturally to Brother Weeze and, like I said, Ron Bennington. 